الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علیہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد يقول الله تبارك وتعالى في كتاب الكريم الله the Almighty and Majestic سبحانه says in the Quran واعتسموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا Allah says and hold all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide that ayat in and of itself should be sufficient for us to congregate as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as followers of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we should be holding on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala altogether meaning we should not be divided we should not break ourselves into sects and groups and jama'at but whether we should be like one hand and one body and we must hold on to the same thing and as the mufassireen those people who explain uh, tafsir who explain the Quran from the salaf of this ummah the pious predecessors the earliest generation of Muslims who the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said about them خَيْرَ النَّاسِ قَرْنِي ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يُلُونُهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يُلُونُهُمْ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the best of the people is my generation then those who follow them then those who follow them so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bore witness that the earliest generations, meaning his generation with the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een and their followers, the tabi'een and those who followed them, the tiba'a tabi'een that they the best of the ummah ala itlaq, without any exception and when they explain the ayat وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا they had various ways of explaining وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ الْحَبْلِ اللَّهِ meaning the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that some of them they said it was the Quran some of them they said it was the Sunnah and other than this and all of those explanations are inclusive of one another so meaning that the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in accordance with the creed of the Salaf of this Ummah is that you're holding on to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and as Imam Baba Hari Rahimahullah Ta'ala said Al-Islam huwa Sunnah wa Sunnah tu hi al-Islam that Islam is the Sunnah and the Sunnah is Islam that you can't have one without the other letting us know that the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Quran and the Sunnah and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is one Sunnah and we are ordered to follow it adhere to it and not divide as the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said Alaykum bi sunnati and it's upon you my sunnah and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said about the people who would be successful he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said man kana ala mithli وَمَا كَانَ عَلَيْهِ وَسْحَابِي 
whoever is upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. So this makes up the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, What the Prophet وسلم, practiced and preached and called to his manners, his character and that of his Sahaba That's why we love the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and if the Ummah want success then their success comes with returning back to the Quran and returning back to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the pious predecessors and we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with tawfiq and bless the Ummah to come back to Kitab wa Sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad